Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today's topic is going to be on possession of drugs for sale and transportation of drugs for sale. Now, many times in Arizona, you see both of these charges charged together. What does it mean? Well, it means that you're possessing drugs and they're actually for sale or they're above a certain threshold amount. What does that mean? Well, if you have a certain volume of drugs, it's presumed that you have them for sale. For example, nine grams of cocaine or methamphetamine in the powdered form, three quarters of crack cocaine, one gram of heroin, 50 hits of acid or PCP, or two pounds or more of marijuana can be presumed to be possession for sale. Now obviously if it's in a vehicle or you're moving, there's your transportation for sale. Now the punishment, if the drug amounts are above the threshold, uh, it's a prison only range of three years to 12.5 years in prison. If the drugs are below the threshold, but let's say they're in multiple baggies, you have a scale, you're driving around, that's presumed to be possession for sale. Then you're looking at anywhere from probation with zero days in jail up to a year in jail or prison of three to 12.5 years. Now the defenses. Defenses are lack of knowledge, meaning I didn't know the drugs were in the room, in the trunk, in the car. I borrowed my roommate's car or I don't live here, things of that nature. Um, the drugs were for personal use, not for sale. This is a common one we see is where somebody says, look, it's nine grams of Coke. We had a big trip planned. It's just for me. I'm not planning on selling these drugs. Um, uh, another time what you'll see is if a bunch of fraternity kids get together and they, they get all their money together and they say, hey, we're having a big party. I want a gram. I want a gram. And a guy says, oh, great. I know somebody. And he gets 10 grams of cocaine, buys it, and he's going to give it out even though he made no profit to his fraternity brothers and then the police show up and he gets arrested, he looks like he's possessing for sale when in reality he wasn't. He was just the middleman. Um, lastly, the weight is not accurate. We see this with marijuana cases. That means the plants are pulled out and they're weighed. They're weighed wet, they're weighed with dirt on the roots and they say, look, this guy has five pounds of plants. When in reality, if you shook it down, just weighed it dry, the part that has uh, uh, the THC in it, it would have been below the two pound threshold. Um, a lot of times cocaine is cut with baby formula on a nine to one ratio, which in reality there's one gram of uh, cocaine, but there's 10 grams of baby formula mixed in. So there's a lot of ways to attack this. We've had great success. If you go to our website and look at the victory section, you'll see that. Now, uh, sometimes we challenge the search warrants and the stops and we get cases thrown out at the get-go. Now, if this situation applies to you, a family member, or a loved one, either give us a call or go to dmcanner.com, contact us, and we'll set you for a free initial consultation and we'll go over your case with you.